today we got Hyundai i45 for diagnostic customer complaint the cruise control doesn't work every now and then <clears throat> now I I finally found out what's wrong with this uh, cruise control but I just wanted to share with you guys um, my findings and the process I went through so basically uh, when I first got the car yeah I just dropped the car and it is true so first five ten minutes it works just fine all the buttons on the cruise control here I got everything pulled apart for testing purpose but um, is a cruise control button so on off set rest cancel all the buttons response and does what it needs to be uh, needs to happen for a cruise control to work and like five ten minutes later slowly you lose the cancel button so as you on as you're cruising with the cruiser on you want to hit the cancel nothing happens the cruise stays on um, and then you physically have to press the brake pedal to uh, cancel the cruiser which is pretty dangerous um, if you're not careful what when you're driving uh, when that happens so and after a while let's say five ten minutes later uh, down the track um, uh, you lose set button as well so you'll have nothing you can't set the speed uh, on the cruise then uh, obviously sometimes it will work and then you can't cancel so that was the issue with this Hyundai and uh, I spent good good time on this car trying to diagnose what was happening um, but obviously yeah, I could not um, figure it out because everything seems to be working just fine um, so I just went home that day and you know I sort of gave up um, on, on any ideas so I went looking on the Google search YouTube see anyone's had the same issue and uh, you know so just just to trying to cheat um, to fix this car in a hurry but uh, there was hundreds of posts I went through like many many posts and forums where and videos where people are asking about um, the problems and no one had a right a good answer so people were just guessing like change this change that a lot of them were saying change the brake switch uh, a lot of them are saying you know change the uh, the cruise control buttons um, whatnot but nothing no one had a, a good answer on how to test it and what is actually going wrong with it and some of them are also saying on the forum like they went to the Hyundai dealer where they bought the car brand even brand new car as as old as two years old had the similar issue and even the dealer Hyundai dealer could not figure it out and they just keep throwing parts at it um, hoping to fix it but obviously yeah. so it wasn't <clears throat> they weren't even able to fix it so I got an opportunity today and um, so obviously Google didn't help me so I just started to you know uh, in my own head like what could possibly be the issue and I had that picture in my head okay this is what I'm gonna test and next day I came to work which is today and um, and seems like I have found the problem and so all the guys out there anyone who's you know uh, having this issue and and even mechanics couldn't figure it out maybe this video will help um, so I would like to normally show you the process I went through on how to test cars and diagnose cars but for this one it was really hard even for me to say okay what was uh, going on so I found the problem but I, I, I and I found it really interesting um, so that's why I wanted to share this video so by basically right now um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly show you what what's happening so just don't get just confused because it's a bit messy here I got my test probes and leads and whatnot uh, airbags are out um, which is not very hard to do there's a couple of uh, tabs locks on the sides you just got a pocket little pin screwdriver tiny screwdriver and you'll pop out 
obviously the airbags, horn pads off, airbag connectors hanging, airbag lights on on the dash, but obviously I don't have the airbag connected just for testing purposes. So, um, uh, right now, all I'm gonna do is show you guys what's uh, happening with this car, what's wrong with the cruise control, and then we will go further. All right, so basically, I'm gonna just drive the car and, and and show you on the dash sorry I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to um, showcase everything I'm doing uh, I'm on a very um, empty road just outside my shop so it should be pretty safe to just video it so here we go so we put it in drive so I want you to focus on this button and the uh, dash the cruise indicators on the dash so basically you just drive as normal so I got the cruise button the cruise set to on so I can turn it on and off like I'm pressing the button and you can see on the dash the cruise is coming on and off like which is uh, so yeah one thing a cruise on and off is never playing up only the other button so cruise on and off is not an issue so there's your cruise on I'm just gonna get a straight piece of road and I'll try to set the cruise control just give us uh, a second guys Alright, so I'm just going to go to uh, just over 40, uh, just to set the cruise control, and I'm going to hit the set button, so set button once, and sorry that didn't set that time, one, one more try, so see, it, it's not setting, right now it's not, so sometimes it would set, but you would not cancel, but right now it's I'm, I'm pressing the set button, but I got the speed over 40 which should be enough to set the cruise control and I, I, I'm getting nothing no response on the dash the cruise on is light is on but no set lights coming on so I can't even set the cruise control so so you saw that our cruise control buttons want yeah functioning on our test drive so I wanted to check the signal going into the computer and I put a scan tool and there was no fault codes um, to help me with and uh, there's not, not, not enough good live data as well where, where I can see if it's setting, if it's doing its job or not. So scan tool didn't really help me for this car so I had to go uh, get a help with, uh, of my scope. So I got a... I scope here so what I am doing is I am checking the signal from the switch going into the computer so what I did I pierced a, um, a wire that's after the clock spring so basically if you see on the switch here you'll see that red wire that red wire goes to this plug number three um, connector pin and that goes through the coil spring um, clock spring sorry and down under and I'll show you which wire um, I have pierced on uh, so the gray wire with my black probing tool so that's why I come out of the connect connector at the bottom so that's our signal wire from the um, cruise control switch to the computer so I'm just gonna see if this is actually sending any signal so if you see on my scope here I got it already hooked up uh, I got 5 volts on my scope so I'm just gonna hit all the buttons randomly and you'll see the signal there so I got cruise on and off button there I got cancel button, uh, set and and uh, resume button. So see all the um, buttons has their own voltage drop. So basically computer sends 5 volts to the switch and switch will pull it down to certain voltage because they got the register um, 
in it so every button has their own um, resistor and that will pull the voltage down to whatever voltage computer wants to see that's how the computer knows uh, which button you pressing on this so basically I'm just gonna go randomly again and uh, you guys can see all different voltage so there's a four button and you got four different signature of voltage going into the computer so and I know uh, my switch is good um, <clears throat> because it's obviously the signal is traveling through the clock spring down to the bottom of the clock spring to the computer so I'm pretty confident my my um, my red wire is good so but the uh, next one over is a green wire and this is the earth that supplies earth to the switch and that comes from the computer too so that's how the 5 volt is dropped to a certain voltage um, with the help of the switch but obviously it's gonna need a ground and that's green wire is the ground so what I did what I do did was I bridge the ground from up here to below here on that green probing green, green probe which is connected to blue with the pink trace wire comes out at the bottom that's the wire feeds the ground to the switch so what I did was I just got a, a jumper wire uh, from that green wire at the top to the blue with the pink tan wire at the pink blue with the pink wire at the bottom so I'm, I'm just gonna bridge these two with my jumper lid and now we're gonna test this signal again so I'm gonna go so we had an issue with a cancel and set button so I'm gonna go hit the cancel button And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit the cancel button. Um, just to compare, what I wanna do is I wanna do it with and without. So, with the ground wire bridged between the um, clock spring and once without it. So, we'll see, we'll compare the uh, voltage drop here. So, I'll focus you on the Skype so this is with the bridge wire on so I'm just gonna hit it and I'm gonna pull this bridge off and I'm gonna hit the same button again and you can see I'm gonna pause this and you can see there is a slight variation on how much voltage drop there is you can definitely see it is not um, it is not a massive difference but there is definitely a difference there so in my um, opinion I think the computer does not like that voltage drop so the computer doesn't know how to respond to that to that button the cancel and set so because you have a bad earth so to prove that point I'm gonna drive it with my bridge my bridge the jumper wire and I want to see if everything works because and because before it wasn't working so let's go for a drive let me all right I'm about to drive off I will try my best because all this setup is very messy and you know see how you go the camera may be a little bit shaky but it's a straight flat road um, there's not much traffic here so I'll, I'll be careful but anyway let's here you go so I'm just gonna get to about 40 kilometers plus an hour and then I'll hit the set button and we'll see how it reacts. So I'm gonna hit the set button. See the set comes on. I can feel the cruise control is on. I'm gonna hit the cancel button and it works. Set, cancel, set, cancel and everything works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull this bridge off um, I'll get to the another straight section of the road. Just give us uh, uh, 30 seconds, guys, and uh,
All right, guys, I got a straight a bit of road here, so I'm going to try the same test again. I will get you to focus on that um, dash or so cruise on, set, cancel, it works. Now I'm going to pull this bridge off, pull this bridge out, and I'm going to try the same thing again, and let's see what it does. So cruise off, cruise on, set the button, set, cancel. Set works this time, but cancel, I'm hitting the cancel, and it's not canceling. You can see I'm hitting the cancel button and it's not cancelling. So let me pull over real quick. So so this is a confirm uh, that confirmation that this car has a ground problem on that circuit and that uh, green wire come going into the switch uh, and Basically, I bridged it from here to after the clock spring, spring. That means the ground coming from the computer up to that part, up to that part before the clock spring is good. And we're going to need a new clock spring. So that's our issue. So, yeah, so it, it works when it's cold. I would say once the things heats up, you know. Uh, maybe once you start driving you you turning the wheel steering wheel and that's mess up the the ground wire inside the clock spring and that's my guess uh, I mean it's pretty accurate I think because if I bridge the wire everything works so there you go change the clock spring thank you guys if some of you guys are interested in, in numbers, so I just did a comparison with and without that earth being bridged. So basically the first picture is with the jumper wire and second uh, second waveform is without. So I'm just going to do a comparison. I got my cursors there um, set up so I'm just going to set it up quickly so there you go so on the first graph we got exactly 4 volt um, and on the second one that's without the bridge um, sorry I lost that again let me go back this is okay with on the second graph we got 3.9 2 volts so 3.9 only about not much different there but that was enough for computer to not to respond to this um, uh, to this cruise control switch uh, cancel and set button so I mean I wouldn't pick that but it is how it is that's how the com um, Hyundai decide to make the computer computer program the computer so